My name is Tim, and I have Lou Gehrig's disease, which sucks. Nate had been doing tattoos, working out of straight A tattoos in Asheboro, and he decided to branch off and open up his own shop. So he opened up Legacy Irons Tattoos, um, I guess a few months, just a few months before we did the benefit. And uh, he had thrown into my ear to help him organize the, the benefit there. And uh, what, one of the first things he wanted to do was give back to Often Awesome and support what we were doing. You know, by the time I finally left, uh, Ashboro straight A, you know, I got here, did my own thing and, you know, wanted to be able to give back pretty much, you know, as much as I could, as much as, you know, everybody kind of, you know, taking care of me, I wanted to help out and take care of somebody else, you know, and, you know, so that's where kind of the benefit grew from. The response was overwhelming. Uh, I think after we first announced the event, people were immediately calling the shop and making appointments and Nate was constantly updating me like you know we're filling up we're filling up we're gonna add tattoo artists you know I knew that there'd be a lot of people that come out but I didn't realize like how many people would hit us up man it was constant like the whole week previous you know to the benefit it was like non-stop people calling and calling and hitting us up on the internet and just non-stop man and we ended up doing 48 tattoos that day, 48 different people got tattooed that day. So, you know, never really realized that, that it was gonna be that big. Just getting there and seeing the amount of folks that came out that I've never seen before. And, uh, a lot of people didn't really know personally who were, who were getting tattoos and some getting tattoos for the first time ever um, inspired by this. Uh, so it was really cool to see that everybody was hanging out, having a good time, um, enjoying each other's company. And, and seeing Tim come out and being able to be there just made it all that more special. I was eager to go and check it out. I hadn't been out since I had left the hospital and I was stoked to see what the event would be like. I could have never been prepared for how large the event would be. I think my eyes started misting up the second we got into the building. It's important to me to support Tim, you know, because he's been a friend for a really long time and it makes everybody feel that, you know, something bigger than themselves that they can actually support and, you know, tell people about and show awareness and do as much as they can for, a, you know, a good friend that's hit hard times. And the whole, I mean, the whole thing about Often Awesome is just the, the power of community and the power of uh, people caring about each other and reaching out and helping those that um, are in trying times. And so that carried over into this event. So many people came that day to get tattooed and I, the numbers that I could never even think about, like people that didn't even know Tim, people that didn't really even know his story, but when people have or get those tattoos like for Tim without even knowing, their skin's like a walking billboard. So they're always gonna have that story, that story to tell other people and that, that story's gonna snowball to like where everybody knows about it, you know? So it's, uh, it's I mean, it's a really cool thing that everybody came in and got those tattoos. I think it's pretty awesome that all the people came out to support Tim. I mean, that that was the first time I ever met him, and I could tell like he was an awesome dude just from how alive he was, like talking to everybody or trying to talk and just meeting and greeting people. I mean, it, I know it's got to be tough, but he came out, and that was inspiring by itself. I did eight or nine tattoos, and only one person actually knew Tim personally, and that really said a lot. Like that, just that many strangers were willing to support somebody going through something horrible is completely amazing to me. Well, the people that came in, they were just complete different, different kinds of people, uh, like older people, younger people, people that didn't have any tattoos whatsoever, um, people that were covered in tattoos, and uh, people that even had the swallow tattoos already came and got more. We did close to 50 tattoos and raised, raised a good amount of money for them, so like, we were really stoked to do that. It was cool to see everyone there, but I was surprised to see that most of people there I did not know. It's flattering and completely bizarre that so many people would permanently deface their bodies for me. 
but the spirit of the event was very festive. It was tiring, but I am so glad I went. Now, everyone better hope some horrible secret doesn't surface about me, or they'll really regret it. A tattoo seemed like a very small thing, and I think it's really more of a selfish thing. It was more for me than for Tim. But it's also something that's going to always make me smile, because I'm going to think of Tim in that kilt at the wedding. I'm going to think of Tim in single malt scotch. I'm going to think of all the fun we've had with Decoration Ghost and the music. Um, you know, just lots of fun things. And also it's going to be a reminder when I start to complain about the insignificant things in life, it'll shut me right up. Because, you know, it's just something that will always ground me. So really the tattoo is for me, not for Tim. In many ways, it's the very least I could do to remember somebody who's such a gift to us and so wonderful in our life. We, I was always raised in a family where family and the idea of family is really important and we're all really different and we still all stand behind each other and it's the best support team that I have. Um, my family's like a rock, so. I was really honored, actually, that she, that she decided to get a tattoo. And I'm really excited that I get to tell my grandmother that she has a tattoo, and so nobody can bitch at me for having one now. There's no way I could tell you how much I, I care about this guy. I mean, he, we love him. We really do. He, as, if I, as if he was my son, that's how much I love him. To do that and to have something permanently with her, to remind her of how hard and amazing this whole process has been. It was, it was the nicest thing anybody's ever done for me. Well, I'll die trying. I'll never give up. Even when the odds are down, when no one gives a fuck. And even when pigs are flying, hell is frozen up. Well, I'll die trying I'll never give up And I know it's hard To love someone whose head is in the stars But don't give up Hold on soon Until I've kept my and have given you the moon I will die trying I'll never give up Even when the odds are down But no one gives a fuck